Warm greetings to all of my fellow entrepreneurs, savers, and investors, members of the Community Support Network. I'm going to give you here a short back office training tutorial to show you exactly how things work, how you can manage this most efficiently and effectively to acquire your own prosperity. Okay, this is a wonderful system. It works great when you are familiar with it and make it work to your advantage. Okay, so let's get right into it. Let's first talk about registration. This is where everything begins. To register an account is very simple. You simply go to the home page. If you've got a uh, personal sponsor, use their referral link. It will take you to this page and when you sign up, uh, click the sign up button, you should see the name of your sponsor right here on the sign up page. Sometimes your sponsor may have uh, already their first three spots filled and it will notify you that uh, this person has already achieved the maximum uh, number of referrals on the first level so you will be assigned to someone else. You'll see their name who is on the same team as your sponsor so you'll still be on your sponsor's team. Okay, so you simply fill out this basic information and uh, uh, don't worry about the country. You can change the country to whatever you want, but if you forget about that and you end up with Afghanistan, don't worry too much about that. This is all important information, so be sure to fill it out. And when that is submitted, then you should expect to receive two emails. One email will be just a welcome. Your, your registration has been submitted successfully and then the second uh, email will be one requesting that you confirm your account and activate it by clicking the link. Now be aware that we use some third-party systems to deliver these emails in the most efficient way possible and some of these emails are being filtered out by perhaps your email provider. All right, we've been having particular issues with Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail are three of the biggies that I can think of. And so if you do not get this activation email, don't worry. All right, we can activate it manually. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to go back to the uh, login page and click the link to resend the activation email as you see here. You can give that a try. Give it a few minutes. It doesn't happen immediately. We typically say wait 15 minutes uh, if necessary and uh, you should get that. Be sure to check your junk or spam folders. Sometimes they get misplaced. But back to the main issue that we have uh, more times than not is that these emails are getting filtered. So we will make a, uh, a serious attempt to check on an hourly basis. We can see in the back office if you've registered an account but you're not yet active and we can manually activate that for you. Okay, so if that's the case, if we see that sitting there, uh, we'll try to at least on an hourly basis make sure that all accounts are active. All right, so you don't need to do anything if you don't get the activation email within 15 minutes. Wait an hour or two, come back and uh, it should be functioning. You can try to, uh, even without the activation email, you can try to log in and uh, see if you're able to log in. If not, then uh, we'll get to it uh, ASAP in short order and manually activate that for you and let, let you know about it, okay? So uh, that's how we'll handle that until we can get that particular filtering issue resolved. Okay, that's how that will work and as long as you know what to expect, there should be no concerns. So now, let's take a look at the account setup and how you need to prepare your account for it to function properly. So here we are logged into your back office dashboard and uh, over here on your right you see your sponsor's information, you'll see the name. Uh, up here, with, this is CS, CSN World is a sponsor and you'll see their email address. 
uh, feel free to reach out to them and let them know who you are. And uh, I highly encourage that uh, team members communicate with each other, get to know each other a little bit, and work together. All right? This is a team effort. You should never be alone. All right, or feel like you're alone. Okay, this is a team effort. We're all working together to make this work, and obviously that just makes sense for everybody. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do before you can do anything else, you're going to need to add some accounts to receive donations. Okay, so you're going to click that button, and you'll be prompted to set up at least up to three different ways to receive donations. Okay, you can go in here, here's your uh, edit uh, link to edit that information. And this is the information you need to put in to tell people how to send you money. Now, um, that sometimes becomes an issue for some people if you're not already set up to take credit cards, debit cards, things like that. And here's what I recommend. Get a PayPal account if you don't already have one. Okay, PayPal is one of the simplest and easiest ways to transfer funds online. Now, um, nobody dislikes PayPal more than I do. <laughs> okay, but it's a, it's a tool and it can be used very effectively. Another way that you can receive uh, debit cards is to get hooked up with Stripe. Stripe.com. That's S T R I P E, the normal spelling. Stripe.com. And uh, they're very easy to get set up with, and you can accept credit cards, debit cards, and a variety of other things, okay? The Cash app, just look up uh, cash.com. I think that's what it is. allows you to use debit cards to send and receive, which is very nice, okay? But uh, please do not use the option of sending a money order, all right, in the mail, because the... New members just joining, they only have 72 hours to get a donation made and confirmed, all right? So sending a money order through the mail is not going to work with this system, at least for new people coming in. That would work uh, for further upgrades, all right? So that, you know, that could be used under those circumstances. But um, I would highly suggest that, that this would be a good time to start getting involved in Bitcoin if you're not already, okay? And we can send some information out to you on that if you're not uh, set up with Bitcoin yet. But that's, a, that's something you're definitely going to want to have as we move forward into phases two, three, and four down the road. Okay, so you might as well get started now. Use Bitcoin. All right, so be sure that the information you put here is complete and correct. You got the correct account number, so you see the donation method. What is this? Okay. What is this? This is a Bitcoin, all right? This is Western Union or MoneyGram. Worst case scenario, you can do that. Um, the donor box payment system is something special that I have set up for my missions and foundations, and that's done through Stripe, all right? So that's set up through the Stripe.com program. Okay, so figure out how you want to receive your funds. Fill this information out. Until this is filled out complete, you will not be able to proceed to make a donation, all right? So this is mandatory that this information be complete, all right? So we got that. Fill out your profile. You'll be able to see your referrals. Explore the back office. Explore all of these links. Know what's there. Know how they function. What you're going to want to do once your accounts are set up, first thing you're going to want to do is upgrade, all right? There's two different ways you can do that. You see here, my money, and you see in the drop-down menu, upgrade here. You're going to upgrade to level one. Okay, they're telling me here I do not need to upgrade. But if I go back to the dashboard, I also see uh, there will also be a button up here um, to upgrade. All right, up here in the top of the page. You don't see it uh, here because uh, this particular position is already uh, at the top level. So there's no more need to upgrade. But the upgrade button will be up here on top of the page. Just click upgrade, and that will tell you who to make the donation to and how to do it. You will see their payment options. So once you've made that donation, they will be notified that the donation is pending and they will need to either approve it or reject it. Okay. Once your first donation of $25 is accepted and approved, you are officially uh, recognized in the system as a level one member and you are now free to move through the entire system. 
Okay, so once that donation is done and accepted, to get your own referral link, you would go to the promotion tab. You click that here, and uh, there's your referral link. Okay, it's very simple. Copy and paste, put that in your emails, send that uh, in any way you can to people after you've already talked to them. Okay, well, we talk about in the training ways to go about approaching people. And please pay attention to that because there are there's a right way and there's a wrong way. Okay, and that's what we get into in the training. So there's your referral link. That pretty well covers the. Uh, back office as far as getting set up all right you've got on your dashboard you set up your profile make sure you've got the information in there how, how people can contact you for communication communication is very important all right again this is a team effort we need to communicate with each other so please put uh, your email address and um, hopefully if you can a phone number so that uh, people can reach you with any issues or problems or questions or offering help or whatever the case might be. All right, so that's that segment of the operation. Now it's time to make a donation. What do you do? How do you do it? Okay, we've already talked about making donations, but there's a couple key elements you need to be aware of. All right, this system tracks every movement and bit of activity for your benefit and it will allow you to proceed when things are done properly we've gotten a number of questions from people uh, someone's given me money in one way or another how do I get it into the system okay well the sponsor has nothing to do with getting a donation into the system all right that must come from the person making the donation and as we mentioned earlier in your dashboard, you simply go up to this top button, upgrade to the next level. You click the button, and it will bring up a page. Very simple instructions. Please read the instructions. Many people don't, and they get all bollocked up, and, uh, you know, they get frustrated, and then they go to take time with support, and it's just all unnecessary. Just read instructions, and it will make life so much easier. Okay? But given that, the system will tell you who you're making the donation to based on the level that you're at and it will move you to the next person at the next level as you proceed through the system alright that person has already filled out the information for the way that they would like to receive donations and so you select one and this step number two must be filled out completely Perhaps you don't have all the information that this form is asking for. That's okay. You don't need all the information. But what you must do is you must fill something in the blanks. Every blank. If you try to submit the form with one of the fields blank, it will not submit. Okay? Be sure that your sponsor has enough information to verify your donation came from you he sees the funds and can easily tie it to you he will then go in and improve or she will go in and approve the donation at that point okay you can see here that you have the option of uploading a screenshot if you feel that would be helpful in any way but just fill out each of these fields with some information again if you don't have complete details don't worry fill something in Put in, you know, teddy bear or pet dog, any information. The form needs the fields filled out to be accepted. Once you submit this, your sponsor or the person receiving the donation will be notified by the system and they'll be able to approve it or reject it. Okay, so this comes from the person making the donation, upgrading to the next level, not the sponsor. Very important. Now you start accepting donations. Let's see how that works. To confirm a donation that you've received, you'll log into your back office dashboard and you'll see this flashing red button. You cannot miss it. This tells you you've received the donation. You will also have received an email to notify you that this is pending in your back office. Okay, so you get an email, you log in, you see this flashing red button and you click on it it will give you the details and you can see over here that you have the option to either approve it or reject it 
So you look at the details on the right hand side, it tells you what method was used to make the donation to you or your account, gives you the um, particular uh, information, and you need to verify that. Verify that, yes, in fact, those funds were received. When you can confirm that, you simply approve the donation. If there's some issue or some problem with that, you have two choices. You can either reject the donation outright, or I would suggest before doing that, contact the person who sent you the donation and communicate with them to see what the situation might be. You might be able to work through it. Maybe there's some misinformation and you can uh, get that resolved. All right. And then you can come back and approve the donation. But it's really imperative that all of us be extremely diligent, responsible, and efficient to approve these donations as quickly as possible, if not almost immediately. And that's especially important with new people coming in, making their first $25 donation, because they're on a time fuse to be approved by the system with their first donation. If they don't make that first donation and get it approved within 72 hours, as you know, then their registration could be uh, or will be eliminated from the system. So it's very important that you get on this in a timely fashion and either approve it. If you can't approve it and confirm receipt, then simply get a hold of the person and uh, see what the situation is and you'll know what to do from there. So it's that simple. And be sure that you're getting the training. This comes in an email frequently, if not every day, several times a week, depending on what stage you're at. Be sure you and your people are on this email list. And you can get on it at freedomis.great.com. Be sure everyone on your team is on that and, and getting the emails and paying attention to them. If you follow the steps provided in here, you will be guaranteed success, all right? It's those people who get lazy, don't follow instructions, don't read, and end up quitting. That's about the only way to fail in this program, okay? So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and we'll make the best out of it. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the winner's circle as we move on into phase two once you've successfully accomplished phase one and got your cash flow engine working with the community support network. All right, that's all for now. Take care and God bless.